App Inventor for an Android is a system that we're building here at Google to enable students to build fun social mobile applications for their Android phones. Uh, kids who are not necessarily programmers. So let's take a look at a, a simple App Inventor program. Here's one of our favorite demos. We call it uh, Kitty. And as you can see, we have a sort of visual environment. And that's one of the important things for making this easy for people. You can see we have a picture of a kitty. There's a label here that says pet the kitty. We have a bunch of other sorts of things that you can deal with over here, uh, what we call the palette. We have things for dealing with media, sounds and video, uh, some socially oriented things. You can pick contacts from your phone and emails. We even have some stuff with texting and, and Twitter. You get access to the sensors on the phone, like location and how you're holding your phone and whether you're shaking it or not. Then we have an area where you do very simple sorts of visual programming. And you still see there's no typing in of text or anything. It's all about blocks that can be dragged onto the screen and combined in various ways. Here we already have something, and I don't know if you can read it, but it basically says that when we drag on the phone that we're going to vib vibrate the phone and play a sound. Let's take a look at the program, uh, which we've already installed from App Inventor onto the phone. So you see we have that nice kitty, and hopefully you'll hear this, but when I... So it's a little bit of a scary sound, but it's supposed to be a meow. Uh, again, I pet the kitty, we play the sound, and you can't feel it, but it is vibrating in my hand. So I teach at University of San Francisco, and uh, at least for the last few years I've been teaching beginning courses. And typically, um, and also courses for non-majors, non-computer science students. And typically we uh, teach like robot programming using some of the Lego Mindstorm systems. Or we've used some kind of graphics programming. Those worked fine, the students like, like it, but uh, it's not real. You know, you can do robot stuff and it's cool and it's fun, but it's not something someone could say, oh, I might really do this for for real life. Um, so the, the great thing about App Inventor is it's that. You know, not only are they doing something real, it's, it's using a device which is their most favorite thing in the world, right? <laughs> their phone. I built um, an SOS emergency call button app. Um, when you uh, launch the application, it has you enter in um, a phone number you'd like to call out to. And uh, that launches, that sends the information to TinyWebDB. Um, after that, the when the app is launched, it allows the user to just have a two-button interface where they can press the button to send an SOS, which sends their longitude, latitude, and estimated address to that um, phone number that was previously determined. What I found in teaching App Inventor is the students are extremely motivated. Um, the hours spent in the lab just go out the roof. And for me, you know, I think a key in, in teaching those classes is, is teaching people problem solving. And really to learn problem solving, you need to spend a lot of time working on it. Um, and the students do because they're having fun and they, and they want to build this app. This course, App Inventor course is what really encouraged me to continue on with computer science. I'm not a computer science major, but I really enjoyed it. So I'm uh, learning Python now. Our goal, like with the general ed courses, is generally not been to recruit students to the major, but to give people a taste of computer science. Mm -hmm. And but with this course, kind of for the first time, I had I think 20% of the class of the App Inventor class continue on and take the web programming class, which uses Python and and actually Google's App Engine. Um, and that was just kind of unprecedented. I was, I was very, very surprised. I have a processing disorder and I'm dyslexic, so coding in the traditional sense is really, really complicated. So, I mean, writing programs that I'm writing in Python now that are really simple, I could write an app inventor in a couple of minutes, but when it comes to coding it, uh, you know, with text, it's a lot harder, but having these colors and these actual blocks that I can move around, 
make it so much simpler and so much easier. I wish all coding was this way. Programming's hard, and especially with the textual language, the startup time is tough. And so a lot of students will come to computer science, they're interested in social networks and all this stuff they're doing at home, and then they're like, oh, this is not what I was looking for. Um, with App Inventor, the startup time is so quick. Like the first day, we build an app where the user of the app can type in some words and the words get spoken, okay? You know, it's a pretty simple app, but it's cool, it's fun. And they're like, oh, I can do some very powerful things very quickly. Um, so they get motivated right off the bat, and then, you know, the learning curve is, is much easier. The students at some point really start you know, exercising that left brain because yeah. the logic, logic does come into play. But I think the blocks editor and kind of some, the built-in functionality, like the text-to-speech, for instance, that kind of helps them do powerful stuff very quickly. Um, but when, once, once we kind of lure them in, then it gets to the part where, oh, there is a lot of complexity and logic going on with this app and they, they learn how to program that. Chris uh, is a student that came from media, was maybe at first like, oh, programming, I'm intimidated by that. And he really took off when he got to this class. Um, the wonderful thing is he's got all this creativity and kind of maybe right brain thinking that he brings to the table. So what I think is really neat is we can get students like Chris that kind of have the big picture, um, entrepreneurship thinking and also combine that with actually being able to design and program apps and, and you know it also gives them an idea of what goes into software development so maybe someday they're a project manager but they know what those programmers are, are facing. After the article was written in the paper my mom got really excited about it and she uh, was at a basketball game talking to this guy sitting next to her turns out he was one of the VPs at Apple in the 80s and he's trying to start a new company um, based around app development and stuff like that. She told him about uh, my idea for an application. Um, I ended up emailing him the next day and now the app is uh, being developed by his company. Uh, I'm working with the company. I've applied for a patent um, and hopefully this whole thing will turn into something big. And it's just amazing that something uh, that I worked on in a class with you know, App Inventor, not being a CS major, not knowing how to code anything, and walking away with a potential really good job is, I don't know, amazing.